think what 30 years of pro bono opportunities in this law school means is it shows the outside world what we all know when we're in this building, which is that students can do amazing things in the public interest. The service was um, not even about a requirement for me. It was something that was already going to be a mandatory part of what I was doing because that was my reason for entering the law. So I was glad to know that Penn had a structure in place for us to do things like that and particularly for students to take on their own initiatives and run pro bono projects. As a, a law student, having the opportunity that dedicates so much time to thinking about how to serve um, clients and communities, especially in our sort of own backyard at Penn, uh, working with low-income clients around Philadelphia on um, such important issues was really transformative. As for the students themselves, it's an absolute privilege to supervise them. Every year, I'm amazed at what an incredible combination of heart and head that the students display. They really show such a, um, empathy for the clients and yet are willing, to, willing and able to put their skills to use to help those clients in a very concrete way. Everyone might not go into a career of public service, but everyone is gonna be a functioning attorney out in the world. And so that means having a certain awareness of what's going on and how to address different types of problems. We're operating in a very resource scarce environment. We would not be able to do the work that we do every day on our youth cases if it weren't for the added capacity that YAP brings to YSRP and to our work on behalf of young people facing charges in the adult system. There's something like 25 student-run pro bono projects. There's all the programming that TPIC runs. The amount of pro bono you can do at this school, the variety of interests, the variety of opportunities is amazing. And it makes me wish that I was back in law school as a student. 30-30. <laughs>